Well, you all did a great job of asking us questions, so today we are going to go through, finish up our little Q&A session here and answer, I think all of them. Yeah. There's a, you know, we're a small channel. We're a small channel, but we still got a lot of questions. Uh, big first shout out. Um, we did a video a couple weeks ago on the Dutchware sidecar, if you want to check that out. In that video, we kind of lamented the fact that Dutchware did not send us any stickers with that, and Dutchware made us right, and he sent us a bunch of stickers, so thanks, Dutch. Yeah, that was nice of you. That was nice of you. Glad to know you're watching. We appreciate all stickers that get sent our way. And especially all the great products that you make. Yes, and all the stuff we buy from you. <laughs> um, all right. So Ready? Let's, yeah, let's kick this off. So, oh, our friend uh, Restless Outdoors, he asked, the first question that I can see, is a hot dog a sandwich? So for this question, I actually did a little research and I looked up de the definition of both a sandwich and furthermore, the definition of bread. How much time do you have on your hands? And, well, you were gone for a week. <laughs> so if you look at the definition of a sandwich and a definition of bread, a hot dog is in fact a sandwich. Okay, hot dog is a sandwich. Do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. A hot dog is delicious. <laughs> a hot dog is delicious. I don't define it. Like I don't. It, it lives outside of it, it, con yeah. conventional. Yeah. I don't definition. need to put. I don't need to put names on it. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Hiker G asked, "What's your favorite channel to watch?" That's a tough question. That's a, a tough question. There's a lot of great channels um, out there. I'm not gonna say a specific backpacking channel because we watch them all. We watch them all. We watch all the same ones you guys probably watch. Um, I'll say my favorite channel right now outside of the outdoor space is Peter McKinnon's channel. What's your favorite non backpacking related channel? Oh, Key West Kayak Fisherman. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Key West Kayak Fisherman is pretty sweet. Um, I will say, I was thinking about this, and there is one like backpacking channel in particular that I get the most excited about when they release a video because they don't release videos. You probably know who I'm talking about. You don't really, they don't release videos very often at all. But when he does, but when he does it's magic. It's sweet because he goes to sweet places and he takes really good camera gear and that is David Gray. Yeah, love David Gray. Not video. the singer. <laughs> <laughs> check, if you guys check him out, he, I don't know how many subscribers he has and he really only posts a video like probably every other month, but he goes to really awesome places and he has really high quality videos. He's just like a really nice, like fun looking guy. So. Yeah, love David Gray. Love channels. David Gray. Next, this is a series of questions from Hangs for Fun. He said, the first part of the question is, how close do you two live next to each other? You probably uh, live like five miles. Yeah, from each other. four or five miles. Not far. Yeah. Which house do you film at? We film at my house most of the time. We Andy's filmed stuff at his house, though. We're currently in my third floor right now. Were you each the best man in each other's weddings? Yes. Uh, yes we were. So, I have my speech on my phone. Um, were either of you ever in Boy Scouts, and if so, what rank did you get to? Never in Boy Scouts. Never Scout. in Boy Scouts. Our dad was an Eagle Scout, though. Yeah. Next question, uh, from P. Moo. It says, is Andy in India trekking, wearing one of those outfits? I don't know who that is. Is that somebody we know? No, I don't think so. No, I was not trekking in India. I was there for work. Next question, have you ever, have you considered hiking with Lando? And just so everybody knows, Lando is one of Kevin's cats. And just so you further know, the person who asked that is our sister. And no, he's a, he's a big weenie. He hates, he, he's not a, he's not an outdoor kitty. Maybe Murray, the other one, but no. Okay. Oh, Jason Wish asked, I saw this. Thoughts on the Mavic Air upgrade? So, uh, this is a drone speak. The Mavic Air was a newly released drone from the company uh, who makes the same drone I have. And my question to you, Jason, which is, can you charge that drone from an external power bank? Because if you can, we're selling the sparks and getting that thing, because that drone is sweet. Yeah. All right, Mike Riddle asks, new to backpacking, how do you track your miles? Why track your miles? Yeah, I tra just because I'm wearing a GPS watch, I track them. But if I wasn't wearing this, we probably we wouldn't track them. Just based on what maps say, yeah, really. Yeah, we don't we don't really track them. Although sometimes I'm anal and I want to know exactly how far away I am from our destination. But if I wasn't wearing the GPS watch, like before the GPS, we we never tracked our miles. Yeah, we'd just be like, oh, the map says it's like 11 miles, yeah. so we'll go 11 miles or whatever. 
All right, our buddy Mitchell asks, what's the longest hiking trip together and how exhausted were you all? Well, I think the longest one we've done together is Isle Royal, right? Day-wise, yeah. But the longest distance we've done together it's is... It's probably Laurel Highlands. No, Shawnee. The, like, single day? Okay, that's a good point. The longest distance single day was our Shawnee State Forest trip. We did, like, 22 miles. Isle Royal, we did, like, between 60 and 70 miles. We were pretty exhausted after both of those. The 22 or 21 miles in a day and like 5,000 feet of vertical was yeah very exhausting. Next question from Milk Steak Fly, <laughs> which is a great name. <laughs> Somebody watches a lot of Sunny. So that's a great. It's always Sunny reference. All right, first question: longest through hike. I don't think I've ever through hike. I mean the. The Laurel Highlands is technically a through hike. Do you have a rectangular or cylinder large dry bag from Z-Bax? Cylinder. They're, yeah. they're the cylinder dry yeah, bags. Yeah, we have the cylinder ones. Yep. And then final question for Milksake, ever hike in PA? The, I think the only thing we've ever done in PA is Laurel Highlands but hiking trail. PA has fantastic backpacking. Yeah. Better than Ohio. Yep. All right. Arcana asked, which one of you are the older one? He's it's older. Me. I'm older. Have you ever been to the Adirondack High Peaks area? No. Sure have not. No. I wish. And then final question, what's Kevin's cat's name? So there's two. The uh, the more cheetah looking one is Lando, and the other like sandy one is Murray. And they're both kind of a pain, but they're good. They're good people. You'll see them in our videos from time to time. Yeah. All right, Daniel Helmbrecht. <clears throat> asked, do you have any specific trails you want to go on in 2018? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're putting together our schedule, but some places like I've personally never been to the Smokies, so I want to go. I've to been the to the Smokies, but we're, we're, yeah, I forgot that we were going to do that. We're, we're also putting together, we're putting, we're in the first stages of putting together like our big trip for 2018. Yeah. So um, we're trying to figure that out right now. I think we definitely need to make it over to Pennsylvania more. Yeah, sure. Pennsylvania and uh, Pennsylvania has fantastic backpacking, and uh, we're also gonna check out. We've both been there hiking. We've never backpacked there. We're gonna go down to Red River Gorge, and there's some other parts of Mon Monongahela that I'd like to try, like the Cranberry Wilderness. I think we definitely need to get back up to Michigan. I, I mean, Michigan's I, really good. I know it's cliche, but I'd like to do Pictured Rocks. I've been up in the area, but I've never backpacked it before. Yeah. Um, so, but, and specifically this year, he's been there. I'd like to go to Grayson Highlands. I think we can make that happen. <clears throat> that was a lot, but we're getting the schedule together. Yeah. All right. Next question from Florida Adventures. I've seen the Costco down blankets in the background of some of your videos. Have you ever converted them to under or top quilts before? And if so, what temps have you gotten them down to? So we've never converted. We're not. We're not skilled enough to convert them into under quilts. Uh, read plenty of people who you do can. That. Um, I have used it as a top quilt. We before. both use them in the summer. Yeah. as our top quilts. I took mine down to what was it, 50 degrees? Yeah, I think. 50? I think it was like mid 50s. It starts to get cold. In yeah, those it was too cold. Um, but we both use them in the summer, like as our standard top quilt when the temps. Like the low temps won't get below like 60 in the summer and they're they're great quilts for that purpose and they're like cheap so you can i don't know you can throw them around and it doesn't matter yeah so scoobs asks what are what are your favorite places to go for a weekend trip so i think there's a lot of places so we're in central ohio there's a lot of places within like one to three hours around us that we can get away pretty quickly from the week for the weekend. What is your favorite? If I, if you had to go away in a weekend, where would you go? Um, gosh, that's a hard question. It is. It is kind of a hard question because I've been to most everything. Like that's real quick. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> if we're just zipping away for a weekend, I'll just go down to Wayne somewhere. Somewhere in Wayne National Forest, or maybe Zaleski. I mean, I, I like I like Lake Vesuvius a lot because it's, Vesuvius uh, is cool. it's got some good camping and some good scenery. And if you're just looking to get away real quick, it's a it's a nice easy backpack and it it gives you some great camp time. And then the second part of this question says, live in Dayton, so would love to hear some suggestions on where to go this year once it starts to warm up. 
probably going to hit up Dolly Sods. You definitely first. need to go to Dolly Sods. Yeah, Dolly Sods is phenomenal. Um, and Dayton, Dayton, you're because you're west of here. You could easily get to Vesuvius, Lake Vesuvius, or Shawnee State Forest. Those are both probably within two hours of you. And because you're west, getting to um, uh, I can't think of the name of it, uh, Red River Gorge. Is pretty feasible. Yeah, because you could cut down. You could just cut down, yeah. um, like through Cincinnati. So, I would say check. But before all those, go to Dolly Sods. Yeah. All right. Steve Pike asks, if you owned a 19 ounce Superfly tarp, what would you both say you would upgrade to, specifically after your experience with the hammock gear tarp? If we were going from a 19 ounce tarp to a new tarp. We would be going to the exact tarps we currently own. Yeah, like I the have hammock gear. I have zero complaints with the hammock gear. And I regret gear. not having that in my five favorite gear items. Yeah, and I kind of wish I would have got the doors. Yeah, I'm back and forth on the doors. Um, you don't need them like 80% of the time, but the 20% of the time you do, it's, it'd be nice to have them. But if you're looking, if you're going from a like a heavy winter style tarp get the Cuban fiber hex tarp from hammock gear. And we both got them in a 12 foot length and the standard is the 11 and I'm pretty happy we got the 12 foot because yeah. we didn't get doors. So having an extra half foot on each end is, is helpful. Yeah, very, very happy with the uh, tarps from hammock gear. Yeah. So how often do you, this, sorry, this is from Jerry Fife says, how often do you guys plan and go on backpacking trips? Um, we make it our goal to go once a month. Once a month. If it's yeah. at least an overnight. And we definitely average that because some months we go twice. Um, yeah, and he, he also makes comments about, um, uh, I know we all need to work, but a lot of times for me, work kind of destroys his plans and as it does for us yeah. as well. Um, we've had trips that we've had to postpone or cancel because of work commitments, but the you know the good thing about where we live is there's like four, five, six places that are within two hours. So even if it's just like an overnight, and and it's nice too because they're they're user friendly for backpacking and they don't require a lot of planning. And so the second part of your question, the question from Jerry was, um, what are some things that you guys do when planning a backpacking trip? So a lot of, if we need to get away real quick, a lot of the places that are close to us, we really don't need to plan much. We've been there. We've been there. The trails are well marked. The maps are, are, are good. The campsites are well established. It's real easy to get on the trail and go. Uh, when we're doing like a bigger trip, um, we usually get together a few times before the uh, trip and we go over routes. Uh, we do online research, look yeah. at trip reports, YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos. Um, so we try to determine first, like how many how many days and nights do we have there? How many miles we want to cover? What the terrain's like? What other people say about it? What are some you know some good experiences that pe other people have had on the trail? Some of the high points of places we need to see on that particular trail. Um, yeah, for like our big trips, we'll start putting those pieces together like months, months ahead of time. And we'll we'll sit down with maps and we'll start just looking at routes and like everything he talked about and just trying to find, I don't know, trying to find the best the best things to do. Yeah. But I mean, I- Got a yeah, plan. Yeah, I mean- Those but, big trips, you've got a plan. But Jerry, if there's some places around you that don't, rec that are a little, a little easier to get to and uh, like we have that are, don't require much planning those those make it easy mm -hmm. where you can focus on work during the week and then just don't have to worry about spending too much time researching yeah. and, planning and just getting out there um that was the that was actually the final question that was it that was it well those were good questions um thank you all for asking them and we'll probably do another one of these at some point way down the feet way down the line but yeah. That was good stuff. So hopefully you learned a little bit about us and like our process and how we do things. And anything else? No. Talk to everybody later. See ya.